Oh, I'm on. <laughs> Hi, told you I'm coming back. Okay, so we're going to do a reading for the Divine Femme now. Okay, I'm going to try not to give away too many of my secrets. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Please, Spirit, Archangels, Ancestors, give me a reading for the collective of the Divine Feminine. Oh, shit. I give away too many secrets. <laughs> All right. Okay, so subconsciously, the Divine Femme right now is thinking of heartbreak. Okay. Yes, and we can be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Damn, this is really going to be about me, isn't it? All right, Divine Femme. What do we got for the Divine Femme? Let's see here. Yeah, I knew water was going to be prominent. Um, in the first reading that I just did right now, uh, I said there's going to be something with water. <laughs> yeah, water signs are really pulling to me today. All right. So what do we got for the collective for the Divine Feminine Spirit? Please give me some clarity of energy <sighs> for some guidance and advice for this heartbreak, this Three of Swords. Oh my gosh. She's screaming. Oh, oh, okay. But um, I see here, there's like a, oh no, that's Three of Swords on her arm. Okay like a compass almost oh okay all right so the divine femme is really sitting in her emotions okay uh the water sign okay queen of cups she's really in her emotions right now in her in her feminine energy and um and she's really thinking about like um you know how can she help I'm not going to I'm not going to say this is about me cuz it's not really about me. This is this is a collective reading, but like I really always want to help everybody and I want to help like people that are having trouble in their marriage um with, you know, the 4 of wands and the marriage card here. Um people that are having trouble in their marriage or in their relationships and stuff like that. It could be relationships with your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your family, you know, anything that like under the home. Um I I just I I've, I've been through a lot. Okay. And my, my, my dad was not in my life very much. Um, my mom pretty much raised me and my mom did a really good job at it too. Uh, we didn't have much money. Uh, my dad had a lot of money and well, my dad was a good provider and stuff, but I'm just, um, where this is going is I really feel like the divine femme, it wants to reach out and communicate about, um, solving some, uh, family with the four of wands, like a family problem. Okay. This could be something that's been weighing heavy on her heart for some time. And, um, and right now she is in, uh, the hermit mode. She is in meditation mode. She is really contemplating on, um, what the next move will be or who can she help? Who could she guide? Like, as you can see, she's like a cliff or blah, blah. she's sitting on a cliff and, um, she's by the ocean. And she's got this bright, shining aura, this light that is just beaconing out for anybody that's looking for direction or guidance. And um, and she's like, come, I will help you. I will guide you. We will do this together. This road is really long and it is really narrow. As you can see, the, the road, oh, my dirty fingers. I'm sorry, I'm a diesel mechanic. Um, <laughs> as you can see, the road in this picture, it's very long and it's very narrow. Okay, and um, 